This is a slider confirmation button. The way it works is that you slide it to confirm an action. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create something like this in Figma. In fact, we are going to recreate this very specific component. And so we will start building this component right here, right next to the old one. So let's start creating an ellipse that's going to be 40 pixels by 40 pixels. This ellipse is going to be light gray and also it's gonna be a frame actually. So I'm gonna press Command Option G to convert this into a frame. We will name this frame um, Slider Control and we will go to the Path Tool and create the arrow like this. It's going to be two pixels thick, it's going to be black and uh, this is it's going to be a bit smaller. We'll place it inside the new frame. Now, within this frame, that is this whole rounded rectangle, there is a, you know, this frame that's placed and within this frame, there are these texts because when you move this ellipse around, you want these texts to move as well, right? So you have to actually place it inside of this frame. In Figma, you can actually place objects, you know, beyond the border of a frame and it's still going to be visible unless you check this uh, clip content control over here. So I'm going to go to the text tool and type slide to confirm. The font is Avenir Next and the font size is 12. Uh, we will use the same color as used here, which is this type of, you know, kind of medium gray. I'm going to hit Command X, select the frame and then paste it inside the frame. So now it's inside the frame, even though the frame is actually smaller than the objects that are being, you know, contained by the frame, which is useful in cases like, you know, in cases like this. We will move this copy so that the right edge of the frame and the left edge of the copy, you know, touch precisely. And then we will move that by further by 10 pixels. So even though, again, it reaches beyond the edge of the frame, it's still within the frame. And if we click this clip content, this, it disappears. So it serves kind of as a, as a mask. Um, <clears throat> we also need to create the second one that's a uh, release. I'm going to hit command D while with this text selected, align the text to the right and then move it to the left side again similar process we make sure these edges are touching and then move by 10 pixels to the left this is going to say release finally we need to we need to create this confirmed so again i'm gonna duplicate this and then move that downwards by about this much and make sure it says confirmed um, this text is gonna be white because it's right here yeah that should be it now we will take this frame that contains the ellipse the arrow and all these texts and we will hit command g to create a group we will name this group ellipse plus text we will add auto layout by pressing shift a so now it, it's an auto layout we will increase the size of the auto layout to be around 160 pixels 160 and then we will add margins on the top and the sides margins on both will be four we will also add a background so we're gonna go to fill here and then select this color and finally we will around the corners so let's say 30 good now we don't want these texts to be visible outside this whole button we want the text to be visible outside this frame that they're in but not outside the whole button so we will go here and click clip content now we <coughs> will also add a shadow to this ellipse so we will select the specific ellipse careful do not select the slider control frame but the ellipse trap shadow and whatever feels right so this i think this looks good we'll rename this and also we will add a gradient just to make it more interesting like so good 
Now we are going to create a component from this, create a property called state, uh, property state. And there are going to be three states, default, then um, release, and finally confirmed. What we need to do now is transform this somehow into this state. So we're gonna do that by going here to auto layout and then select top right alignment while also selecting or adjusting the auto layout to be slightly bigger. Uh, at the same time, we want this text slide to confirm to disappear. So we will set a zero opacity. And uh, also as we slide into this position, we want the text that says release to gradually fade in, uh, you know, to appear. So in this state, we need to select the text. It's, it's not visible, but it's still there. So we will select the text and type in zero again zero opacity and also we will change the color of this button to be lighter gray similar to this one change the color of this ellipse to be white and also finally we need to I'm gonna actually delete this one and then copy it again state is going to be called confirmed and we need to imitate this final uh, state so the right padding is going to be four this is going to move upwards so we will move this outside of the whole frame at the same time we, we need to move this text that says confirmed inside the frame uh, maybe adjust the position so that it's a bit further away from the ellipse also change the color of this button it's going to be green this gradient is going to disappear and at the same time this thing is going to rotate and it will change to a check, check mark, and it will change color. Great, so now we have all the three necessary states. We need, now what we need to do is to define the interactions. So we will go to prototype over here and then what needs to happen? So basically when you drag this ellipse, you want to be able to get to this state. So we will select this, connect it here, and then it will say on drag. So Figma knows that when you drag this element, you are you know dragging it into this position so, you know that's why you need to select on drag so that you can manipulate with this element it's going to be smart animate with ease ease in 150 milliseconds the way we want this to behave is to as soon as you reach this position automatically it will then transform to this so as soon as the ellipse is going to be closer to this position than to this position we want to be the animation to finalize and then immediately move to the final stage. So I'm gonna select the whole element, this circle, and, and we're gonna say not on click, but after delay. And the delay is gonna be so short that it's basically instant, one millisecond, and it's gonna be ease out. So this should be almost finished. Let's test what we build and see if there are any problems and fix them if necessary. So just to be sure that um, we will we will be using the right one. I'm gonna change the copy in this one to say old. Right now you see that this is the old element. It's not the one, the component that we built. We'll remove that, go to assets, and then use this new slide to confirm. Center it, and let's test this. Yeah, that looks good. I think I think this is the action that we need. I don't like the way that the text that says release disappears. I think we should define that as soon as it's out of the screen, it's also uh, invisible. So opacity set to zero. Good, I think that's more smooth. So yeah, this is it. This is the final result. When we click and drag, you can see that the slide to confirm text is slowly dis disappearing while the text that says release is slowly appearing. And then when you reach a certain position, when you release, it automatically transitions to this, to this state and then immediately to the last one. So let's see. We are dragging, release, boom. So yeah, that's the result. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for similar content like this. I do a lot of tutorials on Figma and um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.